Who? Hi, I'm Larry Troca, and today I'm going to ride uh, this little uh, uh, colt. I own this horse, and I'm going to get him ready for one of the fraternities. He's way behind. He's probably about six months behind. Um, so, you know, I'll try to get him caught up. And he's a really good horse, so I think he can get caught up. But, um, uh, you know, if not, there's still the four-year-old events that he can go to. Okay, we'll stop him a little bit, see what happens here. Now the stop, I'm gonna drive him to the bit and then set the bit solid and I quit riding with my feet. And he backs off it, I give him the slack. I'm gonna drive him to the bit. I want him behind my hands and in front of my legs. As long as he's behind my hands and I quit riding with my legs, he should stop. It's like, here's my bit, here's my legs. I've got him behind the bit, I want him in front of my legs, and that way I can control his body. If I push him up to the bit, and then quit pushing and the bit's still staying there, he should stop, okay? The bit's like a brick wall. Okay, walk him forward, now make contact with his mouth, keep driving him with my feet, as I make him get behind my hands, because I'm setting the bit left, left side of the bit, right side, left, right, left, right. Quit riding, set the bit solid, he stops. Now his head kind of came up. I'm going to shake it down there a little bit. Back him up, set the bit solid, use my feet to ask for motion, and he should back up. Now he's a little stiff there. I'm going to kind of pull him a little bit. Pull him this way, kind of loosen him up here a little bit. Got a little stiff. So they get a little stiff on you. I'm going to drive him to that. Set that bit solid and I'm going to drive with my feet till he loosens up. There we go. Let's try it again. There we go. Good. See, so he's real supple this direction. There we go, that's better. Okay, let's stop. In the video, after I asked this horse to give his head and I schooled him a little bit, I'm saying, oh, that's better. And it is better, but it's not right. It's still not right. If you pay attention to how he's given his head, he has a head tilt, meaning he's, he's twisting his neck tilting his head and just giving me his the tip of his nose his forehead is staying you know right where it was his face should be perpendicular to the ground he should be he should be bending at the pole and giving me his entire head not just his the, the tip of his nose so that's an indication that there's something wrong uh, more than likely he has some vertebrae that are stuck right there behind his ears in the pole area and, uh, and actually, I got a chiropractor out there a couple days later, and they went ahead and, and adjusted him, and then that fixed it right there. And if you want to see what it's supposed to look like, at the end of this video, there's going to be another video pop up. Uh, that Go ahead and click on it, and that'll take you to a video of this exact same horse a year later, and you'll see how it's supposed to look like. Uh, be sure to watch that video. It's pretty important. Anyway, let's, let's get on with the video here. That's better. Slope him. Now he didn't want to lope. When we ask him again, I'm going to pop him on the butt. When I cluck, they're supposed to go. Alright, that time he did, I didn't have to pop him on the butt. Okay, let's stop. So I asked this horse to, to stop, and you know he stopped pretty hard. You know, I was happy with that. But he also threw his head up in the air and stuck his nose out, and uh, you know that's not good. What he, what he's supposed to do is drop his nose and give to my hands, give to the bit, and 
you know, when they do that, they flex at the pole. But the the fact that he's throwing his head up and sticking his nose out kind of, you know, tells me that his pole is bothering him. You know, that he it's bothering him to flex at the pole and give to the bit. So, you know, like I said earlier, uh, I suspected he had some vertebrae that were stuck in his pole area, and he sure enough did. Once we got it fixed, you know, he went right back to flexing at the pole and giving to my hands, you know. So, you know, overall pretty happy with him. Now, I'm going to stop him a few more times, and my correction, after he stops, if his head goes up and he sticks his nose out, I go ahead and slack the reins after the stop, and then I, I seesaw the bit until he drops his nose, and then I give him the slack. Basically, what I'm doing, I'm just reminding him that he should give to the to my hands during the stop. Well, you'll see it as we go on. All right, let's continue. Roll back. Who? Oh. That's good boy. Who? Oh. Okay, let's stop the video so I can give you some additional information. What you just watched was a short edited clip about training for a correct stop. If you'd like the complete picture of how to train your horse to do a good stop, get my videos titled Teach Your Horse to Stop Light and Collected and Training Secrets for Big Stops. Both titles are available on my website. I'll leave links to them in the uh, description box below the video. Anyway, I hope you liked this video. If you did, go ahead and click that like button and subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell so YouTube notifies you when I upload a new video. You can leave your comments and questions in the comment section below the video. Oh, and don't forget to go to my website and get that free membership. It'll give you access to all kinds of good stuff. I mean, you'll learn a bunch. I'll have a link to it down below also. Okay, wait for the next video to pop up and click to watch it. That's all for now. Take care.